Remember when I told y'all that there's somebody out there for everybody and what one woman is not willing to accept, another woman is there with her hands out waiting for crumbs? That's exactly the situation that reminds me of this whole Nelly and Ashanti relationship, right? He was with that other woman for nearly a decade. And she went on that show and she said, I don't want to be just a baby mama. I want to be a wife. Like I, I want it to be love, marriage, baby, and in that order. And in that order. And I don't, we don't know why they broke up, or at least I don't know why they broke up. And now he's rebounding with Ashanti, and let's just call it what it is. It's a rebound, sis. Like, it's a rebound. If you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. We're just repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. That's all we're doing. We're just repeating cycle after cycle after cycle. <laughs> And see, I'm glad this woman is speaking like this because a lot of women and some women, not all women are like this, but I'm talking about the ones that are. A lot of women don't know how to be wives. They don't know how to be nurturing and caring and they don't understand how to be a wife so the only thing that they can do is do what their mother taught them to do. I hate to see Ashanti going out bad like this because honestly, when I saw that she was pregnant in my head, I said, yikes, because already sis, and why didn't you make him marry you? But this is a middle-aged man who did not marry the woman that he was engaged to for seven years. And he's probably not going to marry Ashanti either. And if we are really keeping it a buck, Probably the only reason that he's with Ashanti is because he's nearing, he's, he's already middle aged and he's nearing the end of his life and he wants somebody to spend the rest of his life with and he wants a kid and Chantel was not going to give him a kid without marriage. A lot of black women are too comfortable being the baby moms. Now Chantel was like, I'm not going to be a baby mom. But Ashanti was like, oh, please, please love me. I'll be a baby mom. Girl. You see, we live in a generation where 40. 45% of black children are born outside of wedlock. We live in a society where so many people would rather be a girlfriend than a wife, a baby mama than a wife. Now, there are differences. Now, I'm going to explain the difference. If you are a woman out there and you are a woman that has the father of your child in your life. You are not a baby mom. You are a single woman. But so many of us, we prioritize our own needs instead of the needs of the common good. So what's going on in the world today? We have so many children out there that are being misled, that are being misguided, that are being mis led and misinterpreted because they're being led by people who didn't have leaders themselves. Let me ask you a question. If you were born in a situation where all you need is what you know, why would you do anything different than what you already know? Why would you? You wouldn't. You would not do anything different than what you already know how to do. So that is what's going on in the society that we live in, is that so many people are going by what they know. Let me give you another example. There was a story that I heard months ago. And I know who told me the story. It was a story about a ham and the grandmother had a ham and the ham was being cut they cut the ham they cut the ham to be smaller so then the mother followed in the grandmother's footsteps she cut the ham the same way the grandmother cut the ham and then the daughter of the mother she did the same thing and then one day she decided, hey, I'm going to ask 
Why am I doing it? Because a lot of us, we do stuff and we don't know why we're doing it. We're just doing it. But what? Why are we doing this? We don't know. So because we don't understand and we don't know why we're doing it, we just do it and we don't know why. See, when you look at the anatomy of what's going on in the world today, it's just a bunch of people who are just doing the stuff just to do it. That's it. I want to be like the people around me. So if everybody else does it, I'm going to do it too. We live in a society of sheep that just do whatever the common status quo says to do. This is the reason why, especially in the black community, there's no more nuclear family. There's no more. We live in a world today where there is no family. There's mothers, there's fathers, there's children, and there's chaos. That's it. That's what we have. And until we learn how to be better, and how we need to have a new standard in this new year, history is just gonna keep repeating itself. <laughs>